The United States likes to refer to itself as the greatest democracy on earth. However, when put into action, this fine-tuned democratic machine is starting to look, well, let's just say not so fine-tuned. Let's take the current presidential primaries. To start, the entire primary system has been built around a series of complex, archaic and arcane rules that are confusing to the average voter. Superdelegates, caucuses, shifting proportionality, disenfranchising, inscription, regulations, open and closed primaries. And these are just some of the less complicated features of the US primary system. And then there's the question of the functionality of the system itself. In this year's primaries, we have already seen hours long lines outside polling stations, and just this week, more than 125,000 people in New York were quote unquote purged from voting registries. This isn't even to mention other intriguing attributes of the US electoral system, including legalized corruption in the form of campaign finance, gerrymandering of districts, voting on a Tuesday, and the Electoral College. Yet despite all these aspects, the true apogee of the system reveals itself not in its questionable rules of functionality, but rather in its product. As noted by Jerry O'Hare of Salon.com, what we're seeing this election year is that US citizens will almost certainly have to choose between two of the most despised candidates in the history of the country's presidential elections. According to a recent poll, both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have disapproval rates of over 52%. This has never been seen since the onset of modern polling. Conversely, neither one can claim to have the approval of more than 31% of the population. Trump's approval is a mere 24%. This is taking choosing between the lesser of two evils to a whole new level. You know, the United States has used the aegis of democracy as a pretext to invade countries around the world. But as one poignant observation points out, maybe it should start thinking about invading itself instead.